Alright guys, let's take a look at my 2000 Audi S4. It's got the six speed manual with the V6 twin turbo. Like I said, a 2000, it just clocked over to 100,000 miles on it. It's in really good shape. i do one full walk around here. You can see it's sitting on the standard S4 wheel from 2000. They're in pretty good shape overall. A little bit of love on them and uh, of course really good tires on there too. Try to keep it in pretty good shape. Um, it's kind of hard to see. Let's see if we can get a kind of a better shot or angle here of the underside. It is sitting on stasis coils. You can barely see them in there. There they are. So it's, it is sitting on four corner stasis coils so it is lowered a little bit and those are adjustable um, height adjustable which is sweet and then brakes those have been upgraded to drilled and slotted kind of hard to see but yeah really other than that that's kind of the only performance upgrades it has you can stock otherwise. Bizing on headlamps, those are all factory. You can see the factory S4 badging. Kind of cool. But yeah, the S4 over the A4, back in the day, added more power. And it still is this way. A little bit different front and rear bumpers. Some usually more aggressive. And then on the interior, they always add sport seating, which this one has, and this one actually has the upgraded leather. There's two different options back in the day for a Alcantara or like a synthetic suede or the leather. So this one had the leather, which is pretty sweet. And then you can see that six speed there. The car's just in really good shape. And like I was saying, oh, the dash just turned off. Let's see if we can get it back on here. It just clocked over to 100,000, so. hundred thousand one fifty. This one's got everything factory, like I said. So on the dash here, you have all your front and rear fog lamps, hazards, Bose sound system, dual zone climate, heated seats. We're gonna turn that off since it's kind of annoying. And then on the gauges, you have your tachometer on the left, oil temp on the left. In the middle, on the top, you have fuel and coolant temp. On the right side of the of the dash here, you have the speedometer, and then the bottom right is kind of your voltmeter for your battery. So kind of cool. And then the steering wheel, all leather wrapped. It's got a couple of nice bolster points, and then you have S4 down below here. Doesn't really want to focus, but there it goes. S4. Kind of cool. And then over on the side here, it's kind of an interesting pair of, you know, leather soft touch materials, but then you also have this wood with quattro embossed. So that kind of looks cool. 
Sport seats are in really good shape, no rips, no tears. Car is a little dirty right now, I need, need to detail it, but. On the outside door panel here, all power one touch for your um, windows. Of course, mirrors are all gonna be automatic and then the locks mechanism there. Down below you have that Bose sound system. It actually has a decent amount of speakers and it sounds pretty good for being 20 years old. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. Take a look underneath there. Classic uh, squeaky doors on these Volkswagen Audi products. Even the Lamborghinis do that, which is kind of funny. But yeah, that's what set it apart. Right there, the V6 by Turbo. And if you recall, they've changed this motor so many different times. This generation was a V6 by Turbo, then it went to a V8, then it went to a supercharged V6 again, and then it went to a turbocharged V6, which is what it is now. But nonetheless, I think it's a really good value. Different than something of a BMW M, that's for sure. These are very subtle, but they have a lot of power and they're a lot of fun to drive. The only complaint I'll say, I'm just gonna point this out, the axle runs, you know, right about there, give or take, and look where all the weight of the motor's at. It's all forward of the axle. So it, obviously when you're going around corners, you feel it the most and it pushes, you know, unlike a M car or something that would be a little more sporty. And again, this is all just personal preference. I'm just sharing my, how I feel about the car. Love it, super fun to drive, but I've always thought that's kind of funny that Audis always push their motors on their sportier, or the S models rather, um, up front. So kind of funny, but um, yeah, you do notice it. The Quattro, let that car pass. The Quattro really helps um, counteract some of that feeling, but um, it gives you a lot of grip, but, um, but you still notice it. So super clean, haven't had too, too many issues with this car. Um, regular maintenance has always been pretty good too. Try to take care of it the best I can, just did the timing chain. Um, that was right around 100,000, so that was done a couple thousand miles ago. I know I said I just clucked over, but I did it a little bit early. Some squirrels or something got up there um, a couple years back, but uh, not too big of a deal. But yeah, 250 horsepower about, um, like I said, twin turbos, super quick, super fun. Come around to this back seat here. The other thing I love about the S4s are really just faster sedans in general is the functionality, you know, versus something like a coupe. Seats are just in such great shape. S4 logo down below, Bose sound system. And this seat's set to where I would be comfortably. And if you look here, lots of leg room. There's a look at the dash. You know, for being a 2000, it's still pretty modern too. Nothing down here, it's a little like ashtray. And then does have the all weather floor mats, which is kinda cool. This is always, I always get people asking about this, this is a sensor, um, or it turns off the sensor rather, so you tap that, and um, that'll turn off the motion sensor for the, like if you have a pad or something in there. It is a pretty small sedan, I'll tell you that much too. But it is still pretty, you know, decent like I was saying. S4, they didn't put any kind of Quattro badging back here, back in the day, which I think is interesting. And then these were kind of cool looking, the tail lights. Got my Audi Sport plate on there. I have a car cover back here right now. Um, but if I move this out of the way, it's actually pretty good space in the trunk. Not that that really helps you much with anything, but it's not bad. Over here on this side, tool kit. Underneath there is actually a full size spare that matches the um, traditional wheels and tires, which is awesome. I think that's so cool. 
They don't do that anymore. Your triangle kit up above. Struts all still work, so still more of a soft close. I just think really good engineering overall. And you just have to got to appreciate that from, from Audi. So yeah, this is one of my favorites from Audi. Um, that's why I purchased it. It's really fun to drive. Um, you know, some people probably ask in the comments, you know, is it something I should get as a first car or should I, um, you know, buy it and mod it? And it's kind of up to you. If you can find one for a good deal, then yes. I picked this one up for uh, $2,200. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's got, uh, like I said, when I bought it, well under 100,000 miles. Um, that was kind of a deal of a lifetime. But um, you could probably still find them around the five to 10 mark. And so to answer your question, if you love Audi and you want a fun car to drive, then yes, buy one. Go ahead and start it up, it's really quiet. No dashboard lights at all. The middle panel's starting to fade, but that's pretty common. Give you a little rev. Let's go take it for a drive. All right, a little bit of driving footage. The windows are down so you could hear some of the motor. But um, it's funny, it doesn't really sound like a whole lot. It actually primarily just sounds like a V6. Sorry, I'm gonna be shifting a little bit. It might be kind of funky. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's good visibility, of course. Fun to drive. Of course, pretty quick. Very precise, you know, when you point it in the direction that you want to go, it goes. The only thing, like I said, is when you're going around a corner really hard, it doesn't really like that as much. You can kind of hear the turbos. Not as much, though, as I'd like. Well, that's going to conclude my video on my 2000 Audi S4. I just wanted to do kind of a quick walk around, quick video of it. If you guys have any questions or want more content, let me know. But for now, I'm going to go enjoy it, go drive it. Take care, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.